Hey everyone, Argon Matrix here. Welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Zelda 2. Last time we finished off Death Mountain, but I also did something very stupid. Very, very stupid. Um, what? I'm such an ultra maroon for doing this, but I actually missed the magic container that you have to get in Death Mountain. Of oh, fairy, nice. Yeah, because I picked up the hammer and everything while I was there, and I was probably about two steps away from getting that magic container. But I just walked the other direction, completely oblivious, so I have to go back and get that now. And so there's really, like, two ways that I can go to get back there. One, I can go back through Death Mountain, like, the whole of Death Mountain again. Or I can take this backwards path, which I've never actually done before. <laughs> so it feels really weird going in, like, this direction towards the right on this path, because... <laughs> It's just something you don't normally do in any kind of normal run. Oh, by the way, my experience might be a little different from the end of the last video. That's because of the saving feature of this game. It's kind of horrible. Dude, oh, why'd you just jump into that guy? Oh, you're getting your ass kicked. Oh, my goodness. Man, normally those guys don't have cause me that much problems. Uh, yeah, but it's but, but like the saving feature of this game is that you can't actually save unless you get a game over or something. So, I had to actually, when I turned the game off, it put me back, like, pretty much at the start of the game. So I had to play back all the way up to this point, and I try to keep my levels and everything consistent, but the exact experience, it's hard to get that down to the exact digits, you know, so. I just settled for as close as I could get, which was a little bit more than I had last time, I think. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is not a very friendly jump here. Oh, uh, let's see. I think I'm actually going to use the jump spell, because I don't know if I could make that jump just on my own. I mean, look at this, three blocks wide and then one block up on top of that, so... <laughs> so unless you have pixel-perfect accuracy, you're probably not going to make that without the jump spell. You know, better safe than sorry. Dude. Oh, this is... This is... this is The hard encounter in this desert is actually pretty good to get experience off of. Because there's actually two blue garais in here, there's one on the other side. And if they drop a... A magic refill... No, not a magic refill... Refill, um... Oh, I screwed that up. But if they drop a pea bag, then it's actually pretty good, because you'll get 200 experience for that. Falling past the waterfall there, and here's our magic container that I so stupidly missed. I can't- I can't believe I missed that, I really just can't. <laughs> That's so stupid. Anyway. So now we're gonna make the exact same trip, except back in the, the right direction, I guess. And this cave doesn't have any more Octoroks in it this time. So that's something to be thankful for, I guess. I need to remember that that downward stab, too. I don't know. I think I, I, I kind of forget now that I have the downward stab, because you don't normally get the downward stab until just before the third dungeon. And now I have it just before the second dungeon, so I'm not going to think to use it, because my strategy for the second dungeon doesn't normally imply using that. I don't think imply was the right word to use there. <sighs> Sorry, but my vernacular can't be as maximum right now. Oh, because I'm so stressed out from homework and stuff. Oh my goodness. I should actually be doing homework right now, but, you know, we haven't had an actual Let's Play video in a long time with all that streaming nonsense going around, all that 2,500 subscriber stuff. So, I figured I'd I owe you guys a video, and this guy's going to kill me. I don't believe this. Alright, I'm going to cast life, actually. Oh, jeez. Jeez. What am I doing? Oh, okay. Um, gotta be careful here. Yes, I got it. Okay. Ooh, and that's a level up. That's life up too. Sweet. That could not have been more perfectly timed. <laughs> and then I get hit by a freaking rock floating up. Or a bubble. I don't know. Uh, by the way, this graveyard next to me, um, don't go in there, because if you do, then you're going to get your ass kicked by the monsters in there, because they're, they're absolutely horrible at pretty much any point in the game. Even if you have all your levels maxed out, they're still probably going to kill you. They kill me more than enough times, I can tell you that. Oh, did I ever go in here? I probably did. I don't know. Well, I didn't go he in here on this run, on the run I had to go through back to get up to this point. Uh, I might have gone in on the last video, but... Oh, well. It's a good experience hole in this cave, so... Definitely worth it. Oh, uh, today is... What is it? October 27th today? Is that right? I think it's probably October 26th, actually. Oh, and today was not a fun day. Seriously. Yeah, I got piled on with homework today and stuff. Most of it is just my own fault, because I procrastinate like a motherfucker. Oh, I need to lay off the cussing, seriously. <laughs> like, seriously, on that, like, Majora's Mask bonus video with the stream and everything, I was watching that back when I was editing it and stuff, or cropping it. And it was just so, like, I was just like, Dude, why are you cussing so much? Because I, like, cussed, like, 20 times in that video. It was completely ridiculous. I don't know, man. I was probably just so tired from having streamed for like a few, or like, I don't know how long I had streamed by at that point, but streaming does wear on ya. Anyone who's streamed before, that they'll tell you the same. Right. 
Man, this encounter now in the swamp is even easier than it was before because those Octorox die in one hit. That's pretty awesome. Alright, and here is palace number two. Sweet! Alright, there's a magic jar there if you need it. Uh, I might as well. I'm, I was like barely out of life. There's just like a tiny sliver of life missing, but... You want to have as much... You want to have your life in magic bars full as much as possible throughout this game, so... Okay, let's see here. The basic design of this temple is that there's three floors, and then on each of those three floors you can go either left or right. And what you really want to do is start at the bottom and work your way up. And normally you want to go from, you want to take the right passage first, because that leads to a dead end most of the time. And then take the left passage, and eventually you'll just end up at the boss that way. Oh, I hate this room. These guys in this room, there's like two of these guys in this room. And that this one's not too badly placed, but the next one is. So what I recommend doing is actually like going up here on these blocks, which is actually kind of a tricky jump to make. It's three blocks high. Use the jump spell if need be, because normally you ch you shouldn't be able to make that kind of three three block high jump. But if you're moving at the same time as you do it, then you're fine. And you don't actually have to jump at the point that you would think you have to jump at that point, because to like jump that high, you'd think you have to jump at the very edge of the platform. But no, you actually kind of want to jump uh, 75% across the block that, across like the last block that you want to jump off of. That's kind of hard to like envision since these, like it's like, <laughs> unless there's like a grid on the screen right now. How do you quantify 75% of a block? It just cannot be done, you have to kind of eyeball it, but... Oh, these snakes are the worst. <laughs> I don't know, they just take more hits to die than you would think that they would. Like, I have level 3 attack here, and I think they still take, like, 1, 2, 3 hits to die. Yeah, look at that. Oh, well. They're pretty much the same as the Octorox, except... Well, the Octorox do move, don't they? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be fun to show off, though. Now with the downward stab, these guys are much easier to kill, because all you gotta do is that, right there. Huh. <laughs> Jeez, it doesn't even look like I'm hitting in there, but I am. So that's good. Ooh, can I get this guy? This would be cool. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Huh. Jump into me again. Yes! Sweet! <laughs> I love it when that happens, when, you get, when you're like doing this to one of the bubbles and you kill another enemy in the process. It just adds to the excitement factor. Oh, he respawns. Well, I'm not going to kill him this time. Because as you can see, even with the downward stab, because you bounce off them, getting in like a few hits every second, it still takes quite a while to kill them. They might be actually worthwhile to kill at like level 5 attack or so, but as they are right now, it's not really worth it. I think this is the first time we see blue skeletons too. They're not too bad. You basically just gotta pretty much just like the orange alligator guys, the axe wielding alligators. You just gotta charge at them and duck and stab, duck and stab, duck and stab. The, the duck and stab is really the best method of attack because, as you see here, if you stab like that, Link has to recoil his sword before stabbing. Whereas if, if you do this, he just stabs it right out. So it's much faster. Mm -hmm. Alright, oh boy. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing this way. Jeez. Oh, man. I'm gonna start sucking at these palaces in later videos, I tell you. Pretty much only palaces 1 through 3 are the ones that I have memorized. And I use memorize very loosely there. I don't need that. Uh, because as you can see, I still don't really have this place memorized totally. Oh, yeah. All these old games have these like enemies that just go on this sign pa in like this sign graph pattern across the screen, and they're all really annoying. As long as you keep moving, though, you should generally not get hit by them. Of course, there's always other enemies in the way that hit you as you're trying to move forward, and then you get end up getting hit by both of the enemies. So it's like, well, <laughs> which fate do you want to accept? Being hit by the more annoying enemy, or being hit by the annoying enemy and another enemy on top of that? And win. Oh, I forgot that there were, that we faced Iron Knuckles in here, or Orange Iron Knuckles anyways. I thought we'd be up to Red Iron Knuckles by this point. It's probably just because I've already done Death Mountain right now, though, so... I'm expecting a bigger challenge from these guys, because look, they take like four hits to die, that's not much at all. Alright. Jeez, this guy's fast. Alright, get down here. Get down here where I can hit you! Come on, oh, dude, fine. <laughs> I'll just walk along with you. Oh no! 
Of course, they have to hit me just a few seconds before I leave the screen. Actually, probably more like one second before I leave the screen. Yeah, those statues are like they are. These ones will often contain magic jars, too. So, if you see one, you might as well hit it. If you're low on, like, anything, really. This passage is really fun because, uh... If you get this right, I didn't get it right there at all, but... <laughs> right, dude, stop running into them. Yeah, but if you get this right, you can actually get caught right between... Yeah, I didn't do too well there either, especially when I got hit by that guy. But you can actually get caught right between... Yeah, like this. Right between the ceiling and the... Oh, that was horrible. I don't even know how they escaped from that, but... Whatever. Yeah, but if you get caught right between the ceiling and one of the bubbles, doing that downward stab, then it's so much fun, because you just get that, like, do-do-do-do-do-do-do sound effect. <laughs> and you know just how much pain they're in as with ev every passing second. And they totally deserve it, too. Stealing my magic and whatnot. I guess it's better than stealing my experience. Uh, bubbles be sapping my magic. 